friend Dr. Charles Apoki, and uh, I'm reaching you from Worry. Worry. I came for a business summit. I want to talk about the two major evils that are currently bedeviling Nigeria. Number one is religion, religious fanatism. Why would somebody who maybe is from an underdeveloped community residing in the bush have money to buy AK-47, enter a bus, go to a church in a war and shoot people dead? That's insanity. Is that the way to convert people to your faith? Somebody was killed in Lagos, a harlot, a prostitute, a commercial sex worker. A Muslim went there to sleep with her. After sleeping with her, the woman said that her 5,000 was missing. And they went to search the room and saw the holy book, the Quran, under her pillow. And because the Quran was found under the pillow of a harlot, she was killed. They brought her out, stoned her to death. Nobody was interested in the man that went to sleep with the harlot. Nobody was interested in the fact that this girl could get converted by reading the Quran. There was a man in India who went to steal in a house and um, stole a Bible, the New Testament Bible, and was using the soft paper to wrap Indian hemp to smoke. But before he smoked each round, he will read the Bible until they read to the book of John. And in the process of reading, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word came to, to the life and became flesh and dwelt amongst men for hours. And he got born again from a stolen Bible. I am not against Islam, but the truth of the matter is that religion can kill your brain. Between the Catholics and the Protestants, in Ireland, there was so much bloodletting between Catholics and Protestants in Ireland. Same faith. They killed each other, destroyed each other. In, in, in Syria, the Shiites and the Sunnis. In Iraq, religion is an assassin of the intellect. When you become a religious fanatic, you are insane. You don't reason. You defend anything that is indefensible. In fact, that's why the Bible says you should not argue about the faith. Just live a life that will attract people to your faith. The next thing is politics. Politics in Nigeria in particular, and even in America. Look at Donald Trump telling people that he won the election, when statistics and everything obviously shows that he lost. And he mobilized people, and they went to the capital to go and invade the capital in America, something unprecedented. And his supporters are so fanatical that you can't convince them. That's insanity. Insanity to say that Pence, who was the vice president of America, should be hanged. They went there, desecrated the place, and some of them are going to prison. Insanity. One of the insanities in politics in Nigeria is that everything is defensible. Whether the person is capable or not, as long as he's from your tribe, as long as he's from your religion, as long as he's from your party, is defensible. You are seeing people who have history and records of criminality, of theft, of mismanagement. You will still propagate them and force them down our truth. That is the insanity of politics. Politics in Nigeria is such that, like recently, several political parties, people have been coming up with their with uh, their presidential candidates. Some of them will not score more than 100 votes, 200 votes, but they will still buy forms. They will still contest elections. They will still print posters. People who know that they cannot win. A politician is a die-hard optimist. I related with politicians. They've taken me into their bedrooms to cancel them and all that. A politician never listens to reasonable advice. Only that thing in his head is correct. And he can defend anything defend anything indefensible. And so, the presidency, the presidential contest in Nigeria today is not going to be reasonable. It's going to be based on emotions and madness. Madness. People kill each other, fellow poor men. In fact, you discover that it's the poor people that are most excited about politics. 
people whose children are at home, whose uh, children cannot go to university, people who have bad roads. The people, I, I feel very bad concerning politics in Nigeria. People who have raped us, people who have destroyed their, their economy, who wear their t-shirts, they give us Ghana must go off money. How long will you eat that Ghana must go off money? You buy a car, what roads are you going to drive them in? You fall sick, which hospital will you be taken to? Politics and religion, two forms of insanity that assassinates the intellect and destroys the community. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. God bless him.